reviewer. You review it, I review you. This is my partner, Mr. It. Patreon sponsor review today, Cinema Snob's review of Oh Heavenly Dog. Wait, Cinema Snob? If this is a porno parody of All Dogs Go to Heaven, I'm getting the fuck out of here! Whew! Finally some proof that God's not dead, because he turned Chevy Chase into Benji the Dog! Wow! That is the fastest a critic has ever confused me! It happened in 1980, when the makers of Benji thought there needed to be an entry for the adults. Well, the series had been around for a few years, maybe they were trying to grow up with their audience? I can't believe no one was interested in a movie where Chevy Chase plays a private investigator who gets murdered and comes back as Benji the dog to solve his own death. Actually, take away the celebrity animal and this shaggy dog story might be interesting. And completely missed opportunity in not calling it 20th Century Dog. Don't worry, they'll start doing stupid things with their logo once they start making Marvel movies. Which would explain why every scene in this dog comedy is either overcast, rainy, or just plain gloomy looking. No, that's just London. So they thank the Benji trainers, but not the Chevy Chase trainers. Typical. But yeah, they clearly failed at their job. The answer is yes. He's friends with Freddy, the stereotype. What kind of stereotype? Uh, Freddy, sorry, I was just reaching for the gear shift. Okay, say no more. Looks like he's playing sick just to keep himself out of the movie, and his parents are still sending him to school that day. Well, can you blame him? He's so sick he's using a thermometer and a cigar. Could be worse. He could be turned into a cat detective and have to solve something Cannibal Holocaust related. With my expertise, we will find your lady friend before the sun goes down. It's funny because that's another show he does. But Browning soon gets hired for a case. My name is Quimby Charles. I spoke with your secretary. He's the bad guy. SPOILERS! So Chevy gets stabbed in the back, once by the killer, and again by the script. Didn't the script get him first? We had it for Star Wars. I would ask, what the fuck? But if I did that, I'd be asking that question every five minutes. I don't know, I think here it's a pretty reasonable question. But I'm more confused about the woman who keeps hitting on him. I just love the way you say that. Uh-oh. You come with me into the back room, uh -oh. and we're going to make sure you don't go Use back to the... Ah, heaven. A great place to fuck in the closet. Me, 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 So we finally get to hear Benji speak. At last. Holy shit! That was close. And his first words are, oh shit! Actually, I'm pretty sure he said, holy shit. Then again, it does seem like they're heading towards romance with the dog. But come on, what woman could resist that face? And then they bang. Don't joke about that! Given half the shit you review, it wouldn't surprise me! In case you didn't think you'd ever run into this voice again, it's me, dummy. Kitty, kitty. I'm a returnable, too. How and why? <sighs> Shit. Thanks for the fingers. I never thought I would have to say this, but Benji? Stop with the bad language. I love how legitimately put off he is by Benji swearing. Back at Browning's office, it, damn, Jackie has a knack for showing up at all the convenient places. Power of the plot, my friend. What the hey? The detective killed is the same one she ran into on the street. Perhaps he's been turned into a dog. Logical. I'm going to turn around, go back to the kitchen, and eat my dinner. Later. Yeah! What was his end game there? Did he think that was going to end with her fucking him? I don't care. That was hilarious. That was a really shitty thing to say, wasn't it? Yeah. But, uh... On the money. Thanks for contributing, Benji. Well, what did you expect? This is all while Jackie is still trying to solve the mystery, but then it cuts back to this. So you see, it's, it's just a matter of communication. <laughs> Even with vast differences between two individuals, it's, uh, oh, you know what I mean, man. There can still be shared experiences. Oh, good, the real story is now complete. The two dogs are friends now. Well, now he has a bodyguard. But he still can't contain that language. Close. Who's the fruit with the ear bomb? 
Thanks, 1980. That was a swear? This guy apparently knew the victim, but he's too busy hitting on Jackie, causing Benji to, of course, piss on him, and for Benji to put a stop to the guy's advances by putting himself over her crotch. Now, that's kinda noble. Don't believe me? Now not only is she letting him take a nice bubble bath with her, there's not a whole lot wrong with that. But she's doing so with the bedroom eyes, as seductively as possible. Okay, yeah, this is getting weird. At one point, the movie paints itself into a corner, since the dog can't reach the top filing cabinet, so Heaven's accountant comes back to turn Browning back into his human form. I... What was the point of turning him into a dog, then? And of course, there's a chase scene so by the numbers that there's actually people moving glass. Problem is, they didn't do it right. At some point, someone has to run through it. <laughs> Alright, that was kind of funny. Snob, I think you've just been denied real humor for too long. He doesn't give a fuck about his own murder. And Omar doesn't seem concerned that this is the same guy he killed earlier. Is everyone going insane? Yeah, see what Chase does next and you tell me. <laughs> yep, everyone's going insane. Maybe that's why once Beckett sees the necklace, he immediately talks about the affair, even though Jackie has no idea what he's talking about. Even Omar confesses. Wow! This movie was so bad at having the dog solve the mystery that the only way to resolve it was to have the murderer confess out of nowhere. And it was all perfect. If it hadn't been for that dog. That is the most Oscar-worthy I've ever seen that Scooby-Doo line delivered. Well, at least someone in this movie was trying. Benji almost commits suicide until... Nice to meet you. Officially, that is. Yahoo! Okay. I have some questions here. Some of which really shouldn't be answered. This review was kind of meant to me. Most of it was just cinema snobs summarizing the movie while going, what the fuck? However, he does a good job of pointing out the flaws. I'm a reviewer. You review it, I review you. 